Sports Cheerleaders, and you're watching big game coverage on KSAT 12. What a treat we already have on to week seven of the high school football season. Two undefeated district foes, Alamo Heights and Victoria West, vying to keep a record unblemished. Yeah, Mary, Alamo Heights head coach Ron Rittman told us earlier this week how rare it is to get two teams undefeated at this stage in the season. Absolutely. All right, Mules trying to spoil the Warriors' surprising start to the season. First quarter, Alamo Heights junior running back D.K. Garza is a nightmare for opposing defenses. He takes takes the handoff and Garza makes a 61 yard house call. 7-0 Mules. Later, highly touted prospect Michael Terry III takes the direct snap, bursts up the middle, and Terry high steps into the end zone. It's 14-0 now. Still first half, Mules up 21-0. Robert Mickler goes to the air, tossing a dime to sophomore wideout Landon Balden. Mules balling out tonight. Victoria West refusing the shutout, though. Finally breaking through before halftime, Dominic Martinez throws a dart to Tristan Bernard. Bernard makes everyone miss and finds pay dirt. But how about an 80-yard touchdown, rushing touchdown from Alamo Heights Garza oh. to seal the deal. Mules prove victorious, continuing their undefeated streak with a 56-28 to final. I couldn't be more proud of, of just their effort, their character, the way they practiced and prepared all week. They did it against a very quality team. We had a bunch of guys that probably played their best game of the year tonight, and I can't wait to watch the video to really see that. You know, we practice all day and just uh, try to get people in different positions so it makes it hard on defense uh, to guard us all. So, you know, when we have a lot of key players on our team to be able to make plays and do stuff for the football team. All right, we take you now to Rutledge Stadium where the 1-4 Judson Rockets welcome 5-1 powerhouse steal the town. Sammy Harris's number is called, and the senior dives into the end zone, steal up 14-0. Soon after, Knights QB Chad Warner, quick pass on the outside to Royal Capel. The senior receiver is no match for the Rockets. Steel takes the win 56 to three to stay atop District 29 6A. Another top ranked team in our 12's top 12 sub 5A rankings. Davenport hosting two and four Fredericksburg. Wolves QB Daniel Sukup the second drops back and throws a nice ball to Dante Singletary in stride. Battle and Billy Santi Villa takes him down inside the 10. Davenport cashes in on the very next play. It's Sukup up to Barrett Fallon for the six yard score. Wolves went on to win 35 to 17 to stay perfect in District 14 for a D1. Oh, speaking of teams who want to crack at Davenport, Canyon Lake and Somerset are chasing the Wolves, sitting in third and fourth place in that district. And tonight, the Hawks Stadium held its homecoming, and Canyon Lake looking to hang with second ranked Somerset and giving them their first loss. How about this play to get things started? Ryder Cooper finds Carter Williams, who cuts through the Bulldogs' defense for a 40 yard touchdown. And over at Rangers Stadium, as. Oh, they sent over to Ranger Stadium, where ninth-ranked Smithson Valley was hosting Wagner. Both teams tied for second place in district coming into this one, and the Rangers looking to make something happen. Cade Spradling with a quick toss to Brody Day, who says, get off of me, taking it down the sideline before being pushed out in the red zone. Uh, later on the drive, Spradling moving to his right, looking for somebody in the end zone. Brody Day gets his toes down for the TD as Smithson Valley will go on to win it 30 to eight. A stone's throw away from our KSAT 12 studio, Bomb Benson 66 Stadium, where Central Catholic hosts an undefeated Concordia Lutheran team. It's a two-point game in the fourth quarter. Buttons QB Garrett Tyser hit Jack's, Jack Hall in midfield, and the junior wins the 1v1 battle and takes it to the end zone for what would prove to be the game-winning touchdown as Central Catholic improves the 4-2 with a 20-18 victory. 3-3 three and three Sam Houston and 3-3 three and three Lanier collide. A win here would be huge as three teams sit at 3-3 three and three in District 12-5 AD2. First quarter, Hurricanes strike first. It's Myveon Franklin, Ross on the QB keeper. Canes lead 6-0. Lanier drive now. Dylan Yamas targets Marquise Dixon, but John Peoples makes a great defensive play with a swat and interception. Canes overwhelmed the Vokes 42-22 the final. 
Edison visiting Brackenridge at Alamo Stadium tonight as the Eagles are still searching for their first win of the season. Brackenridge pinned back inside their own 10. Edison forces the fumble and it's recovered by Joshua Reyna. Defense turns into offense. Wildcat formation. Samad Bunch will not go down. Relentless for the touchdown. Bears went on to shut out Brack 27-0. Well, District 27-6A is Region 4 is always a battle. And tonight, two of the best teams in the district went head-to-head -head over at Hero Stadium. Look and tell the other team to rethink their playoff plans. And we're talking about a top-12 matchup between the Reagan Rattlers and the Johnson Jaguars who go with the Wildcat offense. Bubba Johnson shaking defenders out of their shoes. And he is too tough to take down. A 39-yard touchdown run. Johnson winning this one big, 24-3. Uh, let's get military with it out at Fort Sam Houston. Cole hosting Hondo tonight. The Cougars, their first matchup in this new district that they're playing in, and they seem to be doing just fine. Jackson Freds hands it off to Zachary Blue, who turns the corner and finds some green grass to stomp on. A 60-yard touchdown run and the second play of the game. The Cougars are free breeze through this one, 48-13. We still have more games and scores to bring you on the other side of this break, including the BGC road trip. But first, let's take a listen to the Reagan Rattlers marching band.